entirely natural to you. I feel at home right now. Like this is this is comfortable. Where's my safety glasses? Yeah, just chuck your hands in your pockets and have a feel. Feels good, eh? Feels natural. Feels like some science is gonna get done. On this episode of Jake and Friends, we're ethanoling the car for everyone's on ethanol. We're E100ing. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. On our last episode, we went and took the car out, did a few one or two strikes. There is so much fuel in here, it just feels natural. Do you want to fly? Nah. <laughs> Of Jake and friends, we put the Mirage on methanol. <laughs> One of the big reasons why we stopped the E85 testing was because the pump water pump is proper shag. Here is what it sounds like when I spin on my hand. So we're gonna chuck a water pump on it, drain the fuel tank, refill it with methanol, probably turn the timing back to where it was. And then we'll go out, we'll go do another couple of draggy runs and see if it makes a difference. If it makes a big enough difference, we're gonna put it back on ethanol and take it out to roll racing. I think we're gonna build an exhaust for it. The water pump is quite literally dripping on the floor. I don't know how well you can see it, but there, all the water's running out from... Ow, that's hot. Oh, good. Yeah, it's pretty bad, eh? It's bad. I've seen some bad water pumps in my time, but like, damn! So that when we put the time belt back on, we put a brand new one on. Exactly. We wouldn't want to put an old one on there, because that would just be... irresponsible. The water pump's done. The water pump was that fuck. Whoever owned this car previously, some idiot, yeah. kept tightening this belt up and so the pulley's actually yeah. bent. Actually, I wonder if the water, the pulley being bent puts load on the bearings, which is why it fucked up. It doesn't matter. Good stuff? Yeah. No, good stuff. Yeah. Hey, that's a lot quieter. It's like an acetone. Oh, effect. that's methanol. Lucky I have my safety glasses on. I'd like to burn my eyeballs. Science first, kids. Safety first, Nick. <laughs> We're just going to spray it straight up the intake and see what happens. Why not? Come to the water would please make a noise. So I'll jack the back of the car up and drain the fuel tank. So there's been a little bit of a discussion about whether we actually managed to get the car to run on E85 or whether we were just running on really efficiently on 98. We actually have an ethanol test kit. We're going to actually test it. There's a cut on my finger, I just found it. Yeah, we give that a fucking jiggle and shake. It'll separate and it'll tell us exactly what the car was running on. It tells you the ethanol content on the side of it. And the next thing we're gonna do after we've tested the ethanol, we're gonna run the car on nothing. The tank's totally empty now as far as we know. We're gonna crank it over, run it until it totally runs out of fuel and shuts off. And then we're gonna put 20 litres of methanol on the back of it and well, hit, hit the key again. Oh, <laughs> the cool science. Oh, that is cool science. Cool kid time. Like we've been recording this for like 15 minutes. My GoPro battery is about to die before the car hit. I have literally no fuel. This goes to show if you've ever run a Mirage out of fuel, you're probably safe to get to the next town. Tune into the next episode of Jacob Friends and this thing finally fucking dies. Just die already! We're at six minutes on this camera and 20 minutes on the last battery. Oh, here it goes. Oh, it's just teasing, you say. It turns oh. out you can run a Mirage on literally no fuel for about half an hour. The fuel light is a lie. Either you guys want to just like, we, we say a prayer oh, or something. It's dead. It's I don't dead. know, man. You saw even saw the belts. Yeah! Yay! Are we going to confirm that's definitely dead? Time of death. Uh, 6.32 p.m. We spent probably the last hour trying to get all the fuel out of it. 20 litres of fucking methanol in this bitch and watch it never run again. Oh, we got it. Did you, you didn't even turn the car off. No, that's the one. We're ready to just hit Kate straight up. It's got some fucking bite to it, doesn't it? His glasses are doing nothing. Yeah, my eyes are burning and I'm back here, eh? <laughs> you guys are bitches. Oh, that's that cut on my finger again. We good? Excellent. That's gotta be a fucking joke, hey. You can feel it hesitate. Oh yeah, that's definitely methanol. Woo! Yep. 
Wow, yeah, man. that's methanol. Yeah. It's methanol, that's methanol. I mean, I'm going to be honest, man. I don't understand why it's all the bustle about. <laughs> we have successfully flex-fuel tuned a Mirage. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
Okay, maybe. Yeah, it wasn't. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't be driving. Well, on the Civic we lost the electrode. On the Mirage we lost the Corsa. The Civic had a lot more nitrous in it than the Mirage, did not it? So back to E85 and give it another crack. Stay tuned to the next episode of the Mirage build and we put the turbo on this thing, convert it back to E85 and take a roll racing. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Thanks, Jesse. Street fuel.